6.6 miles, 11 turns, a very tight road course. It really is a tight road course. It's one of my favorite road courses. I've raced here many times at Long Beach, and it really is a very demanding circuit that doesn't give you a lot of room. And Paul Tracy gets the good jump, and Derek, this surprises me. We talk about Ted Prappas starting outside. Look at that gap heading into turn one. I have to say, Tracy caught everybody else to sleep, particularly Prappas. He gave up an opportunity to possibly give Tracy some trouble into this first turn. Look at Smith. Smith almost collected the concrete there as he makes a move. The green and white evergreen aviation car riding third right now. He is the Super B champion from one year ago. Riding second is Ted Prappas in the white car, but your leader in the Traber Limited number 90, the blue and yellow, is the Canadian Paul Tracy. Now, we saw him last year have some trouble on these road courses. He was very aggressive, but crashed a lot. A lot of switchbacks here. We see them go right, left, under the bridge here. That's a car park they go into, under the bridge, down to one of the tight corners, then onto this very bumpy backstretch. Watch Mark Smith there, running second. Had a good one at Phoenix. The rookie here is still learning, but likes these cars. We have a couple of areas on this racetrack where they're going into. Oh, look at the brakes there. Mark Smith under braking. But we have two areas where they actually go into the shaded area. Is this a concern? It's a very bright day here in California. It is a bright day. When you run slowly, when they learn the track in higher cars, whatever vehicles they use, you think, oh, this is very dark. Believe me, at speed in one of these cars, it happens so quickly, you hardly even know that you run into the shade. Streets racing so physically difficult. It's hot, you physically have to work hard, but your concentration level has to be so, so high. And that's physically draining on the driver. You alluded earlier to the confidence factor of this young Canadian, Paul Tracy, and I think he's growing in his confidence lap after lap. He's a lot smoother than what he was last year. The worst thing, of course, for a driver is to lose your confidence. I think Tracy lost a bit of confidence last year. He's had some good testing over the winter time. He's with an established, good team. They give him the car he needs, and now he's showing all the signs of a talented driver with the confidence he needs. And there's a look at Tommy Byrne. In fact, the car that Paul Tracy is driving is Byrne's car from last year with the new bodywork. That's right, the new 1990-style ARS bodywork that has this large airbox in the back. Now, we mentioned the airbox in Phoenix. Tracy ran it and won the race. He's ahead here. I wonder how long will it be before everybody will think the airbox is an advantage and they'll have to have one. Well, here are the two older styles right here. We have Mark Smith in the green and white number 12, and there is Tommy Byrne in the blue and white number 36. Smith will know exactly where Byrne is. He'll have to be very careful. Byrne is very, very experienced. This is the uh, bumpy section where Mark Smith locked his, locked his brakes earlier on. But Smith is very consistent. He's very good, very talented, and he doesn't seem to make mistakes, which is very good in a series like this. 45-lap race here on the streets of Long Beach, and I have to wonder now if Ted Prappas is exercising some race strategy or if Paul Tracy is simply running away. I would say Tracy's running away. It's the early stages. Prappas was on the front row. He will be chasing Tracy just as absolutely hard as he can go. I'd say there's no strategy. Tracy is just faster. There's Prappas down to turn six. No trouble. See the way he gets down and slides it. That's what we talked about. He's on the limit. He pushes this car, slides again. In fact, has a bit of oversteer here. Oversteer can slow you down sometimes because you can't quite get the power on hard enough or early enough. So Prappas obviously is suffering from oversteer, which is a loose condition. Oh, if somebody's going to try and make a move on you, because if you don't, he can take you out of the race. Still a good battle for third and fourth. Mark Smith, the rookie in this division, he's the Super V champion, rides in third. He devotes half of his winnings to a seeing eye program out east for uh, finding leader dogs for the blind. So half of his winnings go to charity. Well, that is great. I'm glad to see that with Mark. He's an excellent driver, very talented, definitely one of America's up and coming drivers. And this is a great test for him here because this is the battle of the race at the moment. Mark Smith has to hold off arguably the most successful driver in ARS, certainly in recent years. Well, as we go back to second place, there is Ted Prappas. He began the season a year ago on a limited base and had funding for two or three rides, but he was so successful that Norm Turley picked him up for the pig racing enterprises, and he actually won a race in Detroit last year. That's right, and we see him slide around again. We see him slide out of the hairpin. His crew chief might think he's taking it easy on these tires, but let me tell you, he's giving them a lot. Here's a look at Robbie Groff, who started 15th. He has had his trouble this weekend. He crashed his 1990 Wildcat heavily on Friday, had to go back to the garage and pick out the car that his brother won the series with. 
last year. He tested this car back in December, but since then the car has been in a garage. So it's a good steady ride toward the front now for car number 11, Robbie Groff. And there is a good look at Eric Bachelard, the Belgian right behind him. There's David Kudray right in front of your leader, Paul Tracy. So Paul taking it easy going through traffic right now, but really having no problem whatsoever. That's right, Kudrev about to be left. Of course, he lost so much time with both of those spins, but he won't be happy being left at all as we go back to Groff in seventh place and Bachelor here in eighth. Oh, Bachelor look at this picture move on the inside. Down inside the him. I'm not sure Groff is totally happy with that car. He only qualified 15th. It is a successful car from last year, but whenever a driver gets into something new, there's just small changes he likes to make to get 100% confidence in it. Between the walls at Long Beach, you have to have a lot of confidence in your machine. When you speak of the confidence, we, we recall Ted Kraft was sliding around. That is confidence in that race car and knowing how far one can really pitch it through a corner without the ground effects and without spinning out. Well, that's right. And of course, rookies find it more difficult in ARS because it's flat bottom, a lot of horsepower. Ted Prappas has had this so many times, he knows how to handle the car. He knows how to steer it with the steering wheel and with his right foot on the throttle. There is Tommy Byrne, who finished second in this series last season. He is still hawking the rookie, Mark Smith. Adding to the international flavor, Tommy Byrne, of course, coming from my home country of Ireland, chasing Mark Smith, Mark the rookie. This is the battle of the race right here. Third and fourth position on this racetrack, but your leader continues to be Paul Tracy, the Canadian battling for position. Neither one wanting to move over and give one room to make the pass. That's right, back to third and fourth. It's still the battle of the race. Tommy Byrne cannot get by Mark Smith. Mark Smith is not making any mistakes. A bit of a clinic here for Mark Smith, showing Tommy Byrne the way to do it, even for a rookie. They're coming up behind P.J. Jones. P.J. spun early in this race, went to the back of the pack, and he is trying now to make his way back toward the front. And he'll be the next one to put a lap down by Mark Smith at number 12 and Tommy Byrne in 36. Here's a look at Steve Shelton, our Ferrari dealer from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Started in fifth, running in fifth. Fifth place is his best finish in the Meadowlands. Here's Johnny O'Connell. Jumped in his car after the Friday session. Of course, this you will recognize this as the Glidden X Steve Barkley car. Uh, Johnny O'Connell having his first ride of the year in ARS. And this could be a one shot for Johnny. He's not sure. He stepped to the ride on Friday, qualified it on Saturday, and here he is. Would love to have a ride the rest of the season. Big question mark with the car 33. That's right. And has the type of talent that can be successful in ARS. What's Tommy Byrne? Oh, they almost got together. Byrne had a look down on the inside, could not make the pass. He was trying to block Mark Smith behind P.J. Jones and almost got enough of the nose by. Gary, hang on a second. Bachelor looks very, very squirty coming out of the hairpin. I couldn't see whether he touched it. The car looks very, very unstable down the front straight here, weaving left to right. Can't quite see what's wrong, but Bachelor is slowing down, in trouble, car steering. Well, that's going to be like suspension. It is. It is. It looks, shaft, like that, CB joint. Uh, it looks like that left rear wishbone, that left rear suspension is it is broken. Look, oh, look at that left rear wheel. Off. Yes, there it is right there. And Ted Prappas has a problem. Ted Prappas running in second position. He is rolling to a stop. What happened, Ted Prappas? A very safe, steady second place. And now he's a passenger. He sits out. Nothing to do for the rest of the day. And here is a clean ride for Paul Tracy. He can go around and see Ted Prappas. Paul will come around this final turn. He's going to be looking for the checkered flag in his second straight victory. A good, clean ride today. I'm impressive with the drive by Paul Tracy. There is a checkered flag, his second straight victory in American Racing Series competition, his third in his career, and here is the race now for second place. P.J. Jones now in the middle of this sandwich, which is going to help Mark Smith. Byrne can't get down inside. They did this last year for position. Now Byrne is trying to get put a lap on him trying in the Mark Smith position. He's not going to make it. We're getting information now from the pit area. It was ignition problems on that Buick engine for Ted Graff as it signed like him. And there is the checkered flag, and there is the rookie. Yes, Mark Smith will hang on and take second place. Last year's victor, Tommy Byrne, nails down third. As we look back at a salute to your winner, Paul Tracy, we'll come back and talk with him momentarily. Two races into the ARS season, and Paul Tracy has two wins. Paul, what did you put into that right foot? You've just disappeared from everybody. Well, the car's handling it really great, and the team team's doing a great job. The Lanford Buick, the Buick engine was great all weekend. We have never had a problem with it. 
Um, just the car's handling great, and I'm having a good time out there. Well, now, the ARS series is supposed to be a series that allows you to move on up to the Indy cars, and you got two wins this season so far. Things continue this way. Are we going to see Paul Trace in Indy cars next year? I'd like to move up to Indy cars next year, and hopefully I'll get a shot at it. Well, you have to think that Paul becomes a favorite for the championship after winning both on the mile and the road course here. Mark Smith finishing second. Tommy Byrne, the victor last year, was third. Steve Shelton fourth. And Johnny O'Connell, who picked up the ride this weekend, finishes in fifth position. Paul Tracy with two first place finishes and Mark Smith with two second place finishes. Congratulations. And can you get around this guy or is he just invincible this year? I don't know. I think, uh, you know, Paul's got a bit of experience and he's driving really well. And so uh, we're just going to have to work that much harder. Well, this is your rookie season in ARS and you have to be awfully pleased with the way it's gone so far. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's good for the team and good for my sponsor, Evergreen. And um, I really got to give a lot of credit to uh, Brian Robertson and Dave McMillan and Jerry Cook for giving me a good car. Two straight wins, and Paul Tracy has the points lead with 43. Mark Smith is second, Steve Shelton third, and Tommy Byrne and Ted Prappas round out the top five. Well, we move on.